Barry Glasner is professor of sociology at Lewis and Clark College, where he just completed his tenure as the 24th president of Lewis and Clark College. Described by the New York Times as a master at the art of dissecting research and by Rolling Stone as one of the country's leading sociologists, he has published research studies in leading academic journals and commentaries and articles in the Los Angeles Times, Washington Post, New York Times, and the Wall Street Journal. He is the author of seven books on contemporary social issues, including The Gospel of Food and the highly acclaimed book The Culture of Fear, Why Americans Are Afraid of the Wrong Things, which served as a blueprint for Michael Moore's Academy Award-winning documentary film Bowling for Columbine, and Professor Glasner was also prominently featured as an interviewee in that film. Given the dramatic journalistic and technological developments over the last two decades since you first released The Culture of Fear, especially in regard to social media and fake news, how has the enterprise and impact of fear-mongering changed? Uh, since the culture of fear first came out? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, in certain ways, uh, nothing has changed with regard to fear monger. And then I'll get to uh, the part where a lot of things have changed. Uh, what hasn't changed is uh, class action attorneys still sell lawsuits, uh, realtors sell homes in gated communities, marketers market, market all kinds of products based on fear and uh, TV news channels get their, especially cable shows and local TV news, survive on fear. All of this goes on, and of course, at the pinnacle in many ways of fear-mongering uh, are politicians. Repetition, which you see if you watch the news and listen to politicians. Misdirection, which is a magician's term. If I want to make a coin disappear, from this hand, I got to get you to look over here for a second, and politicians are doing that all the time. And what I call treating isolated events as trends, these are among the most common and they're used all the time. So what about social media? Social media just amplifies all this massively uh, and, and uh, speeds things up hugely. Uh, I like to say that it used to be that people waited for the evening newscast or for the morning newspaper to get their dose of fear. N now they get it on their phones constantly. To use a word that's uh, become very popular lately, I would say resist the culture of fear. Uh, and one concern I have is that people feel so bit beaten down by it uh, that they don't know what to do. And there's, it's, it, some of it's incredibly easy. Uh, there are a bunch of good studies of older people, senior citizens, who watch a lot of local news and cable TV news. Uh, and the more they watch, the less likely they are to go outside, right? Uh, which is interesting in a lot of ways that I've written about. But one thing it suggests is stop watching that. <laughs> you know, read a book. 